day. Tasting video. Welcome in. By the way, spring has uh, done pretty well here in uh, Southern California. This is way, <clears throat> way more lush than it used to be. It's like coming over me. This was a Brett experiment. I've heard that if Brett has more carbohydrates to chew on, aka fermented first, that it can be fruitier. If you do regular, if you pitch it later on, it gets funkier. That's what I've heard. I was listening to a Brew Philosophy podcast. They talked about it and they said, I wonder if someone did like Brett fermentative, uh, fermentative, if Brett, someone did Brett and they did a fermentation like two, three days in, then pitched the, uh, the sack yeast. Would it be different if you did the sack yeast two, three days in and then pitched the bread afterward? I did this experiment, I don't know, about two months ago, a month and a half, I think. I'll put the brew date in the description below to see why, how I executed this. And I'll put the recipe in the description below as well for anyone who is curious. I take the top of these right at bottling. I don't know which is which. Um, and I mix them up and left them. Here we are. I want to see if I can tell the difference at all if there is a fruitiness or not, or a difference in general. Same strains of sac, same strain of retinomyces. Yeah, these have been sitting for a while, so they are nice and clear. Put the cap there next to that one, upside down. None of these really formed a pellicle. Uh, I will say the second time I used this, so I just reused it to, for a different beer. It was, uh, a pellicle's already started to form on that, so that's interesting. I'm not getting too much bread at all. Um, maybe some slight phenols, but I, I don't know, just barely. It definitely has like a, uh, like a, a sour thing going on. Every once in a while I'll, I'll brew a beer and it has a little sour and aftertaste to it, especially, especially with my blonde ales. Possible contamination, it's, I'm also using bread, so that would also be a contamination. <laughs> I don't think that's what would cause the sourness though. Um, it could also be a little acetaldehyde. Um, I did take a gravity reading now that I think about it. And I'll post it right here. If nothing showed up just then, then um, I'm almost positive they both were at like 1.007 or right within that, that range. And it's a slight sour apple. I think it's acetaldehyde to be honest with you. So it's a little, a little off. This one smells more Brett forward. A little more funk, I guess you could say. Quite a bit more phenols going on in this one. More musty, uh, definitely more bread for sure. This one almost has no bread to it. Honestly, I would just think it's just a, a, slight, a slightly off flavored <laughs> blonde ale or something. This one is not off. It's really nice bread. Not a horse blanket, but like definitely bread in it. You can definitely taste some phenols, uh, a little smoke, uh, just a slight touch of funk. So I'm gonna go right for it. I mean, now if this one that has a little that tastes funkier, is the one pitched with Brett after the yeast had started, the sack yeast had started, I should say, then maybe there's something to this. The funkier one was the one with Brett second. Well, there you go. That is uh, very fascinating. I was really skeptical of this just because I, I pitched the Brett so close within fermentation. And reversely, the other one, they were within three or four days after fermentation had started on each one. And the fact that that got that big of a difference pretty right off the bat is very interesting. The Brett first one, I think this is acetaldehyde just a little bit, uh, which is that like grassy, like sour apple thing going on. I think I just, I didn't pitch enough. And I think it just stressed a bit and it stalled out. And I don't know, I mean, it didn't really stall out. I mean, and then I don't actually, I don't know if it stalled out because it did seem to finish, but I think it struggled a bit. And then adding sack to that, it probably freaked out and didn't know what to do. But there was like no funk to that at all. It is definite funk to this. It's so, funk's not the right word. It's like more phenolic. Honestly, that's more the right word. Not in a band-aid way, but more in that smoke barnyard sort of way. And this one's slightly hazier too. So there you go, fascinating experiment. There, at least on this one experiment, there seems to be a difference that I could tell pretty much right off the bat. I would love to even do one this again potentially, or someone do it, or see it done, where it's like a day into fermentation. So <laughs> Brett pitched one day in fermentation sack, the other way around. But you know, there you go, there you have it. I say the experiment is a success. I was going for a difference, and there was. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. 
Um, now that I have a new system, I will be doing a slew of uh, brew days on that. Trying to, trying to dial that in. I know a bunch of you have left comments on that, and I appreciate it. I've been trying to respond to them. Um, and I thank you for your suggestions. I do want to clarify that I did not contact Clarhammer right before I started about all the nuances of it. They did tell me some things. I wanted to go into it just to see if I just bought this and I just went for it. That's t how I tend to do these things. After the fact, I did email them, and they did, and I knew I did some things wrong. Not wrong but I could definitely correct so I will correct that for the next attempt and uh, stay tuned for that in the next week or so and uh, hopefully I can dial the pup yanks it is an awesome system anyway thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos and uh, experiment <laughs>